Okay, this video is to show you how to fix an issue with uh, Google Chrome not working. So let's say you go to um, a virus gets on your system and it affects your uh, browser. Uh, what it does, it actually, uh, if you type in, uh, for example, on the address bar, google.com. Okay, like this. You click enter and all it does is just goes back to MSN notice how it's going to change right now watch so we'll go Google type in Google again google.com and then we hit the so excuse me it's a few moving too much but I'm doing this on my my own so notice how we click the go ahead for it to go ahead and hit enter nope nothing happens okay let's say we have also Firefox here okay this one's set to Yahoo so we'll type in we got Google um, this could probably happen with any browser so there you go so notice how it changed back to Yahoo uh, it's a very it's kind of interesting it took me about 20 minutes to figure this out so so down here notice it says waiting for google.com um, so it's it's gonna do that forever so what you need to do is you need to close the browser and then go into computer and this is on any version of Windows this is Windows 7 that's this is happening on go to Windows uh, and then system 32 so here we go and then go to drivers uh, drivers okay and then go to ETC the problem is the host file. If it's not showing up on here, uh, here's the whole address. So it'd be OS, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, etc. And then you're gonna. <clears throat> the problem is that this host file is the, the, the cause of it. So what you do first is check to make sure that it's uh, not read only. So you uncheck the attribute so you can modify it and remove the, the setting on there. So you want to say continue. Okay, and you want to say okay you're gonna, you're gonna set it to read only again back okay now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this and I'm just gonna show you where you need to go so it'll be OS and then Windows and then it would be system 32 so we're gonna go to system 32 gonna to go to drivers and then you're gonna to go to ETC and the file we're gonna work with is this one so if we double click on it and we say open notice how it has Google and Bing on here so that is an invalid uh, website so it's actually rerouting your browser to that site which is a hacker site probably that's their IP address here um, so, uh, or since it's down, it's not allowing you to get in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually modify this this uh, file. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in there in command prompt. So what you need to do is you need to restart the computer. Um, in command prompt. So you want to do a F8. This is booting up. You want to click F8. So I'm just going <coughs> to continue on when, once I'm at the command prompt. Here I'm just going to show you what I actually got when I hit uh, F8. So you want to press F8 on the keyboard. As your computer, you see your manufacturer's uh, logo up here. In my case it's HP. Notice this is an HP laptop. You're going to get into the advanced settings here. And you're going to go to safe mode with command prompt. So uh, I will continue on once we're at the command prompt again. Back at the command prompt so when you boot up the system uh, it's gonna go directly to C Windows System 32 
Now here we're gonna go to the uh, drivers first. I'm gonna move over to the drivers uh, directory. So, so you wanna go C, type in CD space and then drivers and hit enter. So now we're in drivers. Now we go to CD etc for etc. Enter. So now we're there. So now we're gonna modify the the host file. Okay. Here at the etc folder or uh, directory, notice how it's Windows System 32 drivers etc. And uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna type in uh, Notepad to open it up. So Notepad is the program you're gonna be using and the file name. So this is host host file. So and then you hit enter, and now it's gonna show you. And there is the 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 cause of the issue with uh, Google not opening up. So you want to delete these two lines here. Okay, now you're set. Now you can go file and then save. And file and exit. Okay, the, only, the reason you're doing it in command prompt with command.exe or in the command prompt option in safe mode is because um, you can't do it in, in a regular mode. Uh, that's a that's a system file. And again, do this if you really know how, what you're doing, or if you if you mess it up, you're gonna reinstall Windows. Because if you mess up this host file, or if it's damaged for whatever reason, it's gonna actually mess up your system. So now what you can do is to see, you can type in type, and then host, then hit enter, and it's gonna show you. Notice how. Uh, the Google that www.google.com is gone. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna reboot the system, uh, do a Control Alt Delete, and then go down here to uh, restart. And that's gonna restart the computer. Now we're gonna go back up, and I'm not gonna re start re continue recording until we're back up in Windows again. So you can see it working now. Back up. So let's go to Internet Explorer. And again, a virus detect, virus program, antivirus program, scanner program will never detect that as a as a virus or a cause of an issue. So uh, now we're opening it up again. Okay, we're at the main page. Now let's type. Uh, let's type it up. There we go. W, three W's, and then we'll go to google.com and then hit enter. And voila, there we go. Notice now we're back on Google. Very, very uh, easy mistake. People will probably reinstall Windows thinking there's a virus on the computer still, but there is no, vi there is no virus on here. It's just uh, the host file was modified again. The host file is very is a system uh, file, and it's used by Windows. So if you mess that file up, you're totally going to be you're going to need to reinstall Windows if you mess it up. So uh, follow the steps exactly how I did it, and you should be okay. Don't delete anything any anything else except those uh, the Google and Bing or any other address that's added to it, because uh, that's going to help you. Um, if you if you delete it if you delete anything else it's gonna mess up the the host file again. But just remember to first uh, go into Windows and then uh, change it to uh, <clears throat> uncheck the read only mode and then reboot again. So here we go. Now we're gonna go to Google here and boom, voila, we're there. So Google's back up. All right. Now you're set. Your your computer should be okay. Uh, if you have any questions, please subscribe and post your comments uh, or a uh, question under the comment section uh, below the video. If, uh, if you want us to do the work, then you can pretty much send us uh, an email and then we would do it remotely and for a, for a fee. <coughs> we, would, <coughs> excuse me, we would connect to your system remotely and fix it for you. Again, this is just uh, to show you how to do it yourself. You don't have to take it anywhere and get this fixed. First, do a scan with your antivirus. Uh, in this case, we're using Panda. 
uh, that's the one that's on the system here but uh, again this is just to show you how to fix uh, the google.com or any brow any website that it's unaccessible through any browser okay uh, again subscribe post your comments and hopefully this helps some people out there bye